Aidan Today I'm going to be looking at the Logitech G703 a lot of cat hair on here. Today I'm going to be looking at the Logitech G703. It is a wireless mouse from Logitech. I um, believe it came out last year, a couple years ago. Um, it is the newest, aside from the one that's coming out soon, um, that has the shape of like the Logitech G Pro mouse. This is their newest Logitech mouse with this shape. And I believe the difference between this and the 603, I believe, is the uh, it has light speed charging. If you have one of their um, connected uh, power mat things, like mouse pad type things, get down. A few things about this mouse. It's got a PMW 3366 sensor. That is the same sensor that is in the Logitech G Pro and the Logitech G503 that I had previously reviewed. Um, it also has... 107 uh, gram weight to it, so I believe that's the same weight or a little bit less than the Logitech G502. Comes with a charging cable, a dongle. It's not Bluetooth, you have to use a dongle for it, but that's fine because I'm going to be using it with a desktop, anyways. And um, that's about it. Okay, so it has light speed 2.4 gigahertz wireless. I don't know if that's good. Um, but from all the testing I've done on it, it is just as fast as a wired mouse. And from pretty much any review you read to, they will tell you the same thing. There really is no latency between the wireless and wired mice now. They're getting pretty good. All right, let's get an opening this bitch up. My cat ever stops scraping on the windows. Yeah, I know. I put the blinds down, okay? So, in the box, again, Logitech minimal packaging you don't get the box you get instructions and you get a sheet and this one has even more than uh, the uh, instructions for the Logitech G Pro a way to deal with you got a button <laughs> all right so that's how it looks how it comes in the packaging um, it's a pretty nice look it's got the cord wrapper on the outside you got a weight up top here and your wireless receiver on the bottom the cord is about standard length cord for a mouse, so you can use it plugged in or while it's charging, which is really cool. Although they do the shitty uh, Logitech wires, but luckily that's not going to be an issue. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted this mouse to begin with. Um, you also got a 10 gram weight. This one is not as fancy as the one for the 502. You just get one weight, so you can add 10 grams or you can take 10 grams out. But it's already 107 grams, so I think that's pretty cool. I will not be using the weight in it at all. Weight goes on the bottom. If you look at the mouse here, you got this little latch door. Um, you can put a weight in there. And you can also put the wireless uh, charging thing in there too, if you end up getting that with their uh, mouse pad. But I don't really plan on getting that. I'm just going to charge it the old way. Um, you also get this little dongle with a wireless receiver on the end right there. Um, you get the dongle itself is really small. It says G703, which is nice. So if you got different kind of wireless receivers plugged in the back of your computer, you can kind of tell which is which. And this is for um, extending the dongle if you're having trouble with receiving. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, so that plugs into there, and then this plugs into here. Move it around to the front of your computer, I guess, if you want to do that. Um, I'll, I'll say I have not had any issues. I have it plugged into the back of my desktop, which is next to me on my desk, and I've had no issues with connectivity whatsoever. Um, the mouse itself. Now, I will say this right off the bat. This is my favorite mouse shape I've ever used. It is the most comfortable mouse I've ever used, and I will say it's probably the best shaped mouse I've ever used for right-handed. If you're left-handed, you're gonna have some problems. It's for right-handed people specifically. Um, you have a really nice rubberized scroll wheel, um, nice tactile bump on the bottom. It's got an LED strip that tells you what battery percentage it is in the middle of the scroll wheel. You also got the logo that lights up. I usually turn that off for wireless though, just to save on battery. You got two kind of large buttons on the side. Nice tactile feedback on those. Um, I think they are like the perfect shape. The G Pro to me is a little bit too small and the G502 just kind of had too many buttons. This is like the a good mix in between. It's a 
good size buttons, but also a little bit bigger. You got the charging port on the front there and the ref left and right click and you got a DPI shift button again. The sides of this mouse are textured and the top is kind of a hard plastic. I like the texture on the sides. It makes it super grippy, very easy to pick up if you use low sensitivity um, and move your mouse a lot like I do. This is really good, never really falls out of your hand. And again, for right-handed people, and again, I have very big fat hands, this is the most comfortable mouse I've ever used in my life. And I cannot recommend it enough. You got two Teflon feet that kind of go around the outside and then you got one kind of circling the middle of the sensor as well. I bought it for about 70 bucks online. They're probably gonna start going even cheaper too. You can even get it cheaper if you get the 603, I believe, one of the previous versions of this without the power play. Um, it's the same shape, same sensor and everything. Um, I believe it has a silver top as opposed to this all black model, which I honestly really, really like. Um, it is just a good looking mouse, a great wireless mouse. Um, I've had no latency issues whatsoever when I've been using it. It feels just the same as any wireless mouse I've ever used. You just got the freedom of not having this stupid uh, Logitech cable attached to it, which is really like the biggest benefit. I it, like it takes the comfort and usability and um, precision of Logitech mice and how good they are. And it removes the worst part of it for me, which I've complained about in other videos, which is the cable. So you don't even have to use it. So for me, this is the best mouse you can probably buy for the money. And it's pretty much available. You can find it at a lot of Best Buys and um, online too, if you wanna go that route. Hey, get out. My cat's fucking just, I think he thinks my mic cord is like a snake or something. <laughs> he just fucking, <laughs> deals with that um but wouldn't be an unboxing video if i didn't get a letter from my ex-wife which has become a theme of these i didn't mean it to become a theme of these videos it's just kind of becoming its own theme she continues to not answer my calls or talk to me on the phone you know like a rational person but uh continues to try to contact me and communicate with me via paper mail which is an interesting tactic, I find. Um, I haven't read this yet, so we're just gonna, let's just kind of see what it says here. <laughs> yeah, because that's the same. Three, <laughs> three wireless mice is definitely the same as child support every month. It's the exact same amount of money. It's definitely not way less or anything. Um, and you really do need that child support money. I mean, you got that house that I'm still paying for that you have to pay for. Um, I can't imagine all your expenses you have. You like, what are you, what are you buying? I'm, I'm paying for all this shit. Oh, Lord. Another fucking mouse gets sent to my, my house. Mine, capitals. <laughs> this is just so funny to me. It's just so fucking stupid. Ooh, you're gonna take away my weekend visitations. Trevor thinks this is proof enough to deem you unfit. This is not proof enough to deem me unfit as a parent. I don't think anyone would think that. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I'm on weekend visitations with my kids right now. Um, they're threatening to take that away if I keep buying mice. Which is kind of, it's kind of shitty. To be honest, I got a feeling this is um, mostly Trevor's idea. He does not like me, and I don't know why. I think he's living in my house, so I. Why would you be? <laughs> why would you be such a dick? <laughs> I'll deem you unfit to stay in my house. How about that? Well, Karen, I don't think you're gonna have to worry about me. Um, sending any more mice over to the house just because I think this is the last mouse I'm going to buy for a while. This is a great mouse. Highly recommend it. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about this whatsoever. I have a lot of bad things I could say about you. I'm not going to do that. I have a lot of bad things I could say about Trevor. <laughs> Might do that in a different video. You know, to be honest, I think you're using me buying a few mice on Amazon 
as an excuse for you to try to gain more control so you and Trevor and the kids can go off and have a good life together. Because um, I think if it wasn't this, it would just be something else. And, you know, to be frank, I think it's kind of a shitty thing to do. But we'll see what my lawyer has to say. I don't think this makes me unfit as a parent at all. Um... But we'll see. I don't know. So anyways, Great Mouse, definitely go buy the Logitech G703 with Power Play or whatever they have. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.